to another episode of the People's Lima. My name is Eric Lima. It's episode 156. Now, if you know where I'm at, I am at the at my workplace, the Dartmouth Mall. I just got out um, about an hour ago. I'm just doing a little shopping here and there, a little walking around, and uh, I figured I'd film film my show here live and. Uh, if I'm not looking at the camera, I completely do apologize because this is my first time doing this. And uh, not my first time. Well, you know what I mean. All right. It's my third, it's my, probably my third or fourth film. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's been a great day. Quote, Red Sox finally won a game last night, which is unbelievable. And, uh, <laughs> which is unbelievable. And, uh, and Monday Night Raw got interesting, to say the least. You know, the Bella Twins still. Feuding, Nikki really giving it to Bree. Unfortunately, Bree left Bree in tears. Uh, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, and Shawn Michaels, three Hall of Famers, weigh in about the John Cena Lesnar rematch, which uh, Flair, Hulk, Flair, and uh, HBK said that John Cena doesn't have a chance. Hogan believes in Cena. Hogan knows it's a rubber match because they each have a victory this year over each other. So it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out. Um, also, uh, Roman Reigns was trying to be the next X Shield member to get eliminated to by uh, Rollins, but that plan did not work out because Roman Reigns outsmarted him. He saw what happened to them, to, to Dean Ambrose, and so he wasn't uh, gonna fall for it at any time. And uh, going to the car here, it sounds everything sounds loud out here. It's so awesome. Also. Uh, you know, John Cena fought Bray Wyatt one-on-one. -on -one. The thing here is John Cena um, was dominating Bray Wyatt until until Luke Harper and uh, Eric Rowan got involved. So, meeting... There we go. Ah, there we go. Meeting that, uh, you know, Big Show Mark Henry came out. The authority said, hey, let's make it a six-man tag. John Cena's team won that. Jack Swagger lost to Rusev again. Dude is an... an um, Inability to uh, respond to, uh, and uh, referee had to stop the matchup, giving Rusev the victory. Unfortunately, um, Goldust and Stardust won by countout against the Usos for the tag team titles, but they, they were not very pleased with the victory. Um, which me, which and they decided to beat up on uh, the Usos. So Stardust and Goldust turned heel, and um. Dolph Ziggler, the Intercontinental Champion, defeated Damian Mizdow, who claims to be, uh, who is claimed to be Miz's stunt double. So it's been, uh, I guess it's been a, a one wild ride, I'll tell you that much right now. It's been, so it was a crazy raw last night. I want to do a new segment on the show. It's called Imagine This. Imagine this camera, the, the, uh, the G2 smartphone I had came out in the 80s. What were we talking about in the 80s? You know, talking about how big Michael Jackson was in this mall. And I want to talk about this mall. And you see right now where I'm at May, uh, the Macy side on uh, near the theater. May, this section here used to be uh, used to have a store called Zare. Zare was one of the stores I grew up uh, going to because that's where I got my first deck of playing cards. It was at Zare. And uh, it was it was just imagine imagine that. Imagine if I had a camera like this back in the day. You know, so. I would have, um, I, w I would have a lot of fun with this. I would, I would have a lot of fun with this, uh, you know, putting, you know, posting my first deck of playing cards, and you know, if we had a, a Facebook uh, or an Instagram, you know, something like that, you know. Nowadays, you now we have tr hashtags, trends of Throwback Thursday, Flashback Friday. I call, it, I have different you know, uh, hashtags for like. Uh, you know, we got about way way back Wednesday. How about you know you got uh, take back Tuesday? Uh, like you take it back, and then they they will take everybody back in the day. Or you know, uh, memory lane Monday, uh, setback Saturday, scroll back Sunday. You know that kind of thing. You know, and uh, wow, it's it's just amazing how technology advances nowadays. And uh, and just like I say, imagine, like I say, imagine you know, my church is. We, the last time my church had a talent show was back in what ninety three, I believe. Imagine you know, we taped this and put it on the internet and put it on YouTube. I, who knows? My friend Matt would have been a late night com uh, talk show host or even a comedian or started his own comedy movies or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but you know, but God has planned everything planned for a purpose. You can see 
Like I said, the Red Sox won last night. Finally, they win a game. You know, Buckholz had gone nine innings, and then he bring in Koji Uehara, gives up three runs. It's like, uh, Koji, something's wrong with Koji, man. I'm telling you. I know he's up there in age and all that, and I thought they used him a lot. That could be uh, could be fatigue could be setting in really, really bad. And Koji always tries his best to, you know how the Japanese are. They're very disciplined. They always keep going, you know. They don't stop, you know. They don't. They do everything like nonstop. You don't take breaks in between. You don't act lazy. And that's been, uh, that's the Japanese way. And unfortunately, I think Koji realized that that would have ca- caught up with him, you know. Just, you know, it's just a very, very strange, you know, strange day, you know, to say the least for Koji. But you know what? I think everything will be all right as far as, uh, you know, but, you know, sock season as far as uh, going to the playoffs. You know, they're not going to have a chance to go into playoffs. Already, August is almost ending. September's coming out fast. In fact, so, uh, this coming Monday will be September 1st already, which I was very shocked, you know. You know, you know, time does fly. Time flies. Time really does fly, you know. And just, it's just amazing how things work out. Well, anyways, that is the, uh, well, that that is the, uh, that is what, Things it is what it is. Um, also, I want to talk about uh, you know judging people. You know, you know we have you know I had a lot of internet uh, trolls and some comments. You know, people tell me stop making videos, stop doing this, stop doing that, and all that. But you know, I just laugh it off and just ignore them because you know I know it's not true. And they, those people are judgmental. They they don't want to. I, a little message to the trolls out there. Well, let me give you a little bit of advice. If you want attention that badly, you know, dissing people and commenting them and judging them because of their videos and what their of their appearances will not help you. It'll attract attention in the negative way. Do something. Go out and do something positive. You know, you know and tape it. And do something positive, like you know, you know, give to the poor or do or do something really cool and just you know. Make make people feel good. You know, be nice to others. Be respectful towards others. Encourage others out there. You don't don't be dissing people and then get them down. You know, I think Trisha Paytas, uh, who does her um, who does her videos, she probably doesn't care about the haters, and that's I respect. That's why I respect about Trish. She's very beautiful, very funny, and not only that, she's she's an awesome personality and just you know to, to boot. And she didn't care about what the haters say. She she'll do those videos. She'll do, she'll do the videos until you know the. They, you know, until uh, she's done. She, she decides she's done. I'm doing these videos. It's because I'll do them to the to the day the Lord decides to uh, come and takes me home. You know, calls me home and said, "Hey, time for you to go up. Time for you to go go home." Really. Yeah, but right now I'm doing these videos because they're really awesome and it's really cool. And plus, with this new you know G2 smartphone that I have, it's going to be totally awesome. All right. So that is that is my opinion on that matter. Well, that's all the time we have on the show today. I'll upload this video on YouTube. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. And like I said, comment if you know. You know, I like to hear some positive comments, positive feedback for once. I don't want to hear any troll-like negative comments. I don't want anyone to read them. I'll just delete them and block that person who reads them. Listen, it's not. Listen, I don't. Listen, I'm not going to be. I don't have the most sound effects. Of course, I'm not going to be the most popular guy on YouTube. So what? I just do this just for fun. And just to entertain people, and just, you know, if there's people having a bad day out there, you know, they they watch these one of these videos and, and be encouraged. So be encouraged out there. Don't don't let the da- bad days get you down. Just have some fun and uh, be cool. Stay solid. Hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye. Remember, kids, be like Billy. Behave yourself. God bless. See ya.